All right, so in this next lesson, uh, we're going to be looking at uh, something called measures of central tendency. All right, so uh, when it comes to yeah, measuring central tendency, uh, there are three measures, uh, mean, median, and mode. All right, so perhaps you guys have heard this before, but anyways, let's uh, go through each one of these uh, three. All right, so the first one is the mean. Uh, it's also known as the average. So the average of a set of data is defined by as the sum of the values divided by the number of terms. So symbolically, so X bar, this is red X bar, is equal to, and now this um, is the Greek letter sigma. Okay, so whenever we see this, uh, it means add up. Okay, so we're going to add up all the X values. So the X are the, uh, the measurements in the data, right? And divided by N, N is the uh, number of terms or number of, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll call it terms. Number of terms or data, right? So, but I'm sure you guys have done averages before, right? So you just add up, the, add them all up and then divide by the number of terms. All right, so one thing we want to make note of though is X bar is used uh, for the mean of a sample, and is therefore a statistic. Right? So remember, a st statistic is a measurement of a sample. Uh, on the other hand, uh, this is red mu. Greek letter. Right? So mu uh, is used for a population and is a parameter. Right? So mu is the average of a population or the mean of a population. And uh, again, that's a parameter right? because that is the measurement of an entire population. All right, so just yeah, so you'll see this um, this mu show up. It means average um, later on in the, uh, the course. All right. Uh, next up, we have the median. All right, so the medium is the middle value of a data set. Uh, if there is an even number of values, the median is the average of the two middle values. All right, so uh, so basically, median is the middle. All right, so you can think of it like uh, perhaps. Uh, on a road or when you're driving, the median is the thing in the middle. Uh, so that's one way to that. But one thing you must note is that when you're finding the median value, you must first order the data from least to greatest. All right, so the data itself has to be from, yeah, from least to greatest. All right, the third one there, the mode, uh, is the value that appears the most often. Right? So you can have no mode. That occurs when all the values occur the same amount of times. You can have one mode, right? So you can have one one value that shows up uh, the most, or you can have multiple modes actually. Right? So if, let's say there's a tie for um, a number that shows up the most, then two numbers that show up the most, then those are both uh, modes. All right. Cool. So example here. Uh, so during his career, Tom Brady threw for the following number of touchdowns each season. Uh, and so these are the well, this is touchdown totals for all. I believe it's 20 years. Let me just count here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right. Yeah. So for all 20 seasons that he played, those are the um, those are the uh, touchdown totals. All right. So I'm just going to make a note here that n is equal to 20 here. Okay. So there's 20 20 values there. All right, so we want to determine the mean, median, and mode. All right, so the first one here, the mean, again, is you going to add up all of the um, all of these values here, and then divide by uh, the number of values, which in this case is n. Right. So um, I don't think I feel like writing it all out. All right, so um, so again, it's going to be adding up all the x's here and divide them by 20. So I'm not going to write that out. I'm just going to punch it in to the calculator here. So please bear with me. So 18 is 28. So on. Just give me a moment here. Oops. Uh, where am I here? 
24, 40, and 43. All right, so as it turns out, the sum of his touchdowns is 634. So he actually, in total in his career, he threw for 634 touchdowns. And we divide that by 20. And so, I mean there is equal to 31.7. So on average, he threw for 31.7 touchdowns per season. All right, next up, the median. Now the median, yeah, by hand, it's going to perhaps take a little bit of time. Uh, what we need to do here is we must first order the data from least to greatest. All right? So I can see here that uh, 18, the smallest. And yeah, I'm just going to, could be a little bit tedious, but I'm just going to go through these values. So next up, so I got a 24 here, 23, so 23, 24, 24. And what else do we have? We got 20, 26, 28. 28 again, 28 again, 28, and 29, all right, Been there. 32, 33, 34, And uh, six, nine. I missed the thirty-six. Oops, no, I did. There were two thirty-sixes there. And thirty-nine. 40, 43, and 50. All right, so I'll just do a quick count here. Okay, so I got all 20. Uh, so the median, again, is the middle term. So uh, here, since we have 20 terms, um, I need to, uh, it's going to be an even split, right? So I got to take the two middle ones and average them out. Okay, so uh, so half of 20 is 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10. All right, so this is the 10th and 11th. So, um, yeah, you can see here that this, the, here there are nine terms over on this side as well. All right, so whenever you have an even number of data, what you need to do is take the two middle terms and average it out. Right? So 29 plus 32, divide that by two. Uh, so that's 61 over two is 30.5. Okay, so that is the median. So even though, yeah, 30.5 doesn't show up in the data set, uh, it is still possible uh, to, for that to be the median. All right, third one here is the mode. That's the one that occurs most often. Now, when you put them in order, it's easy to see which one shows up most often, right? So in this case, you can see that 28 here shows up four times. Uh, there's no other value. You got 36 twice, or 24 twice, but there's no other value that um, shows up most often. Right? So in this case, the mode here would equal 28. All right. Cool. So that is, yeah, determine the mean median mode um, of, um, of uh, yeah, this example. Now, when it comes to, uh, I'm just going to show you here, you can also use Excel. 
uh, to compute this. Right? So if you don't want to do it by hand like we did, uh, there's, there's a way we can uh, use Excel or right? use a spreadsheet. Uh, um, now, before I do that, I'm just going to erase these cross so I can read them all. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to punch into the spreadsheet um, the different, all these uh, values here. Oops, give me one second. Like I do have 20 values here. Um, so that's the number of teams. All right, so, um, so yeah, so when you are uh, using Excel, what you want to do here is, let's say, for instance, let me start off with the mean. I'm going to put the uh, equals. No, oh, sorry, not equals. So yeah, so um, to find the medium, me, medium, okay, so the mean, uh, first thing I'm going to type in is the equal sign, and then I'm going to start typing in average. So A, B, all you see is this uh, menu kind of pops up. And so we have these different ones, that's these different functions that start with A, V. Uh, so I want average, so I'm just going to double click on that. And so notice here that it's a bracket and it says, so first number, second number, so on. So rather than typing them all in, what I can do here is just highlight I want to take the average, right? So this says from A1 to A20. Right, so this is a, this is cell A1. Likewise, this is cell A20. So I want to find the average from A1 to A20. And on the keyboard here, I'm just going to hit enter. And it says it's 31.7. So that confirms what we calculated here is 31.7. Right? Uh, the next up, it'll actually find the median as well. I'm going to start typing in. Median or ME, so it's already there. Median. I will click that, and again, I'm going to highlight uh, what I want to find the median of. A1 to A20. Hit enter, and it says it's 30.5, which is actually what we got here. And the third one um, is the mode. So let's just. The third one, the mode, uh, it'll actually do that for us as well. So M O D E mode here. We'll click that, highlight this. Equals, and you'll see that it does say the mode in this data set is 28. All right, so we use Excel quickly to um, confirm our answers. So, all right. Oh, all right. So next up here, uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be estimating. Uh, the means and medians for, for group data. All right, so whenever you see a histogram or what they call a frequency table, all right, so these are two different ways. Uh, we don't know the exact values, but we do know the counts within ranges. Okay, so um, so if that is the case, there is a way to estimate um, the mean and the median. Right? So here it says, yeah, so if you were given data in the form of a histogram or frequency table, uh, we cannot calculate the mean and median precisely. However, we can estimate them using reasonable techniques. Right? So for example here, uh, from the histogram provided, estimate the mean and median. So what I did actually was I created this histogram with uh, this data here, same data as we had before. So we'll just do an estimate and we'll see how close it is to the actual mean and median uh, that we did find uh, in the previous uh, example. All right, so when it comes to um, when it comes to estimating the mean, uh, basically what we need to do here is uh, we need to have uh, these uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, these seven uh, uh, boxes uh, kind of listed off here. Right? So, um, 
All right. So notice that they're all this equal strength. This one, this box here is actually, if I do recall, the the lowest touchdown total he did was 18. Right? So, and it only happened once. So, um, even though this is less than 20, uh, in reality, this one is actually between. If we want to be consistent with uh, the uh, the other intervals here, uh, this would be uh, actually across that over. It would be from 15 um, to 20. Okay, so we can just kind of assume that because there's only one. Right? All right, so um, so first off, what we want to do here is uh, make a table here. So for the interval, uh, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. Right? So uh, for instance, 15 to 20, uh, 20 to 25, so. Not bad. Okay, so um, so these are the intervals. So what we want to do next is we want to list off the counts. All right. So between fifteen and twenty, there was one. Now there's three in this interval. Six. Four, four, one, and one. Okay, so these are the different the counts of the number of um, seasons where we threw within these ranges. Okay, so when we're trying to estimate estimate, uh, what we want to do is we want to actually find the midpoint of each interval. All right, so for instance, between 17, 15 and twenty, the midpoint is seventeen point five. Okay, so at the midpoint, you could add these two together. That gives you 35 divided by 2, that's 17.5, and so on. Okay, so I'm just going to write down the midpoint. Each one, each interval. All right. Okay, so to calculate the mean or to estimate the mean, uh, excuse me, not calculate, but estimate. Uh, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, the midpoint and multiply it with the count. Um, this is kind of like finding the average in the interval and the multiply it by the count. Right? So, uh, so to get the mean, uh, basically what we need to do is yeah, just multiply the count with the midpoint for each interval and add them up. All right, so for instance, I'm going to go one. 17.5 plus uh, 3 times 22.5 plus 6 times 27.5 and 4 times 32.5 and 4 times 37.5 and 1 times 42.5, and again, one times 47.5. All right, so that's, this is kind of mimics the sum, like when you're adding up all the, um, all the touchdowns. And then we're going to divide all of this by the number of turns, which is 20. All right, so as a result, let's see what we get here. So the mean, equal. All right, so let's uh, punch this in here. Uh, one times 17.5 is just 17.5, right?
All right, so we get 620 as the sum up top. So 620. Again, we're going to divide that by 20. Like in other terms. And this is going to equal 31. OK, so our estimate. Right? So that's the key thing here is this is just an estimate. Uh, because we don't actually know the individual values when we're doing a histogram. Right? Um, so, but if I scroll it back up and compare it to the actual mean, uh, it's pretty close. Right? So the mean here when we actually did know the value was 31.7. Um, so but this we got a mean of 31. So again, it's just an estimate. Uh, it's actually, yeah, it's impossible to get the precise mean, uh, but we can get, we can actually estimate it. Um, now, when it comes to the median, so this one, all right. So when it comes to the median, uh, basically what we want to do here is um, we know that there were 20 seasons, right? So there's, there's a total of 20 uh, counts. And what we want to do here is we want to find uh, so there's 20 and it's 20. Then half of 20. Is 10. Okay. So once we have this data grouped, we want to figure out where the 10th. Um, I guess season would fall into, right? OK, so uh, we can look here. And uh, you can see that uh, we have one plus three and six. So the first 10 seasons are accounted for uh, in these first three intervals. And the other 10, so this is four plus four plus one plus one. So this also totals to 10 is between 30 and 35. All right. So if we had to guess, we would think that the middle here would be the median would be right in here. So um, so basically, yeah, it's kind of like logic here. So the first 10 are in these bars, the last 10 are in these ones. So therefore, the median is probably as an approximation is going to be, um, you know, the the lowest of on this side, all right, close to 30, and the highest on this side. Right? So it's it makes sense to estimate the median in this case as 30. So the median in this case as an estimate is 30. Now, what it was for real, or what it actually was, was uh, 30.5. Right, so again, it's a very close, very close estimation. Okay, so that's what you do with group data. You can't get the precise answers. However, you can actually uh, estimate uh, the mean and the median. Cool, guys. So that is it. Right, so that's the measures of central tendency.